Hey, hey, good afternoon. This is Neil Simpler Futures, and uh, it's Thursday, one day in front of the November options expiration as we're approaching third Friday. I did uh, videos last night. We had a, um, a line in the sand. We had a bullish case and a bearish case. Neither one of those played out. In fact, it landed at end of day right on our line in the sand uh, with really not making any of the objectives in either case. What did happen was basically nothing. Um, we just rotated around 4520 all day is all we really did. But uh, there is one thing that's kind of interesting, I think, here. All you see on screen here is this week. You see lower left, you see m Monday, and then a big gap, right, from about 44, 30-ish, all the way up to 84, call it 34 up to 84. Um, and then, then, okay, so then balance here on Tuesday, 15, on Wednesday, 23, today, Thursday, 15. So there's a couple of things that's going on here. One, we're not ending on the highs and neither is balance going out at the highs. It's making highs coming back into the middle, bringing balance out at the the middle with price, right? So that's, it's at minimum slowing, if not really trying to sort of tell us like, hey, I'm getting ready for a retracement basically is what it looks like. Um, so today for the first time, no longer are we dragging these balance um, prints with the day, day by day by day out at higher valuations. In fact, today went out at a lower than yesterday's. It also took out yesterday's low, which is interesting because that hasn't happened in a bit to take out a trailing low. And what it did do is trade down to a low that happens to be the value area low for all of this sideways price action up here. So you got value area high up at about 45.30, value area low at about 0.12, something like that, which was today's low. And then balance in the middle that I already gave you last night. So um, I'll add in tonight's video for tomorrow OPEX, basically say use the same plan as yesterday, um, part two, I guess. Um, but know that we've got a little bit more information now, and that is that uh, we do we do have some rounding off the top up here a little bit. Um, we do, from the very rapid run up on Tuesday morning, notice how it ran off the lows. It came back and tested 4,500 right here and held tested it a couple times, held, made advance. So that would be a really early indication like a line in the sands, hey, uh, below here and probably reasonably looking for the low here of the move to see if we can get into this gap. So that would be another nice way of saying it would be, look, anything below 4,500 is your new like early warning and that's raised, right? I mean, because that's, that's telling us, look, you use the same kind of over-under. We're going to call it 4520, just like we did last night. That's your over-under line in the sand. You know, above there, you can try to lean long. Below there, try to lean short. But what I'm telling you now is this 4500 has been holding since Tuesday morning on the rapid run-up and then the comeback and check, found it, support, boom, up, Right? Came back again, found it, same spot today. You don't want to see, hey, look, let me say it this way. If you're long, you don't want to see that level tested again. If you long and you do see that level tested again, you, you, you need to have your head on a swivel because a breach of that, who knows what, but it would be my read that it's going to check Tuesday's low to see, can I get inside this gap? All right, so that's 84 all the way down to 34 which would put, what, 64 as the mid on the gap, right? So you'd go 84, trades 64, 64 bounces a little bit. If it goes back and bangs on 64 again, then you're, then you're targeting, you know, 34. So that's, that's, that, hopefully that makes sense and it's clear because, I mean, that, that's, it's pretty, 
concise plan. I mean, and then if higher, I already gave you the levels last night for F higher. Um, so you're looking at, you know, 56 and like 70, or just call it 56 and 70 on the top, 56 and 66 or something on the top, but um, if bullish, right? And um, what this looks like, honestly, is, is finally we've reached levels high enough that this selling or they that not the selling the buying has started to kind of run out of steam and it's the first part of it's getting sort of you know tired and needing rest and rest is retrace and so that would start the retracement process and so now you know right below 20 watch this 4500 below there you're gonna see 84s below there you're gonna see 64s below there you're gonna see 34s I mean it's just like a road map right mm -hmm. So um, that's what I got. Hopefully it helps in some way. Um, watch about 7160 for crude support too, by the way, because it failed at 80, uh, which is balanced for crude since the beginning of the year. It's the midpoint on the price action for the year as well. And um, to check lower, which it is. I think it's looking for a buyer, and it'll let you know when it finds one. It hasn't yet. And when it does... I'd be, I'd be looking about that 7160 level, or right in there, 72, but 7160 uh, support. And if so, then you're going to try to reach back up and target 80 again. Okay. That's on crude. That's what I got. Hope it helps. You have a good trade. Take care and um, good weekend, too. And then a good Thanksgiving uh, holiday next week as well. So talk to you soon. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.